Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering Statistics. Here we're going to continue working with the central limit theorem as they apply to dealing with population means. And so by this time, you should be pretty comfortable with identifying the type of problem when you're typically going to be using the central limit theorem. You'll be given some information uh, about some sort of population usually, and then uh, we'll sample X number of people, and we're trying to find the probability that that uh, sample mean is less than or greater than a certain number. So that's kind of the problem template that you typically have when you're dealing with the central limit theorem. All right, um, so let's go ahead and work this problem here. This, this problem's a little bit um, different, and it's not hard. I just want you to think carefully about what you're being asked in this problem here. Uh, the average fetal heart rate is 140 beats per minute with a standard deviation of 12 beats per minute. What is the probability that a fetal heart rate will differ from the mean by more than 25 beats per minute? So the first thing you do, you, you need to read a problem and understand what it's asking you. All right, so we're given that we, we know what the average fetal heart rate is. It's presumably some population of, of, um, of, um, of unborn babies that we know that their fetal heart rate's 140 beats per minute. We know the standard deviation of that number, so we know what the spread is of that data over a large population of, of babies, of unborn babies. Um, what is the probability that a fetal heart rate will differ from the mean by more than 25 beats per minute? All right, so the trick here is, you know, usually when you're do, dealing with central limit problems, you need to identify the sample, uh, the sample size, how many people are we studying at once for every sample that we're uh, doing here so that we can apply the, the, the idea of the central limit theorem. But in this problem, it doesn't talk about a sample size at all. It, it, in fact, it's uh, really just giving us information about the population, and it's asking us, what's the probability that a single heart rate differs by the mean uh, by more than 25 beats per minute. The reason I put this problem in here is because sometimes your teachers will like to confuse you. And so a lot of students when they're stu studying central limit theorem will try to apply central limit to this, but then you can't because it doesn't actually talk about a sample size, it doesn't talk about sample means or anything like that. So you're scratching your head. This problem type is exactly the type of problem that we've done in very previous lessons on uh, mastering statistics. Remember way back when we talked about the idea of a normal distribution. Okay, um, so if these fetal heart rates are normally distributed, which is what we're going to assume in this problem, then basically what you have is, what the problem is giving you since it's a normal distribution there, um, is that the fetal heart rates look like a normal distribution, which typically things do look like a normal distribution in real life, a lot of time anyway. And what we're given in the problem is that the average fetal heart rate, the mean of pretty much all, all the babies that uh, that we've studied there is 140 